But I do care the way that you hold it. You make that horizontal right now. Are oh, you doing that? Yeah. Like old people. Okay. Can we hit me with an intro? I'm coming in hot. Yeah. Congratulations. No, the Oprah Winfrey of sad. Girls. I don't know what that is. Just say it then. The Oprah Winfrey of sad girls. What's up, ladies? Does she look like Oprah Winfrey to you? She does. Yes. That's her. That's her. You're gonna get a bath, yeah, cause you're a tiny poopy monster, what? You're gonna get a bath, cause you're mommy's poopy monster, yeah, somebody's covered in poop, but I wonder who, it's you. But you're also getting a bath, you can run but you can't hide, you're gonna get a bath. Scrub a dip pup, scrub a bub bub, scrub a dee bubs, scrub a bubs bub, scrub a dip pup. We're gonna wash all the poopy off of your butt. Good morning. I just sat down to do my to-do list for today. And it struck me that I often make an overwhelming to-do list that is impossible to accomplish. And then I go to bed feeling like, well, I did five out of the 20 things and I'm a fucking loser. Here's the deal, no one could do 20 things on a to-do list. A normal amount of things to accomplish is five things. And then I was like, wow, if I just wrote the five things down, I could accomplish them and go to sleep feeling accomplished instead of like a fucking loser. So today I made a smaller to-do list so that I can focus on those instead of being derailed and distracted by the notion that I'm going to fail regardless because I have 25 things to do and only 25 hours to do them all. Oh my God, it is only 24 hours. And I've already checked like three things off. So now I can focus the rest of my time on the biggest part of it, which is writing and making taco soup. Because uh. they're always telling me that they hate. Who's they? The family. <laughs> yeah. This mother is trying to convince me a family lives in our walls and it's really easy to convince me of things like that. I'm leaving! So we covered Mount Vesuvius. A glowing cloud of volcanic gas and debris begins to roll down the slopes of Mount Vesuvius. Ugh, it's not even good. It's like, why even, why try? There's a couple of things that I need to get. And um, when I say need, I'm like not sure I know what the word need means. Like, am I going to Target because I need a Razor scooter or because I, I am trying to stall my day out? We got work. I don't really want to do the work today. I don't really want to do the work today. It's unclear to me at this time what my Target ambitions are. I'm just not even gonna go to Target. I'm gonna go get the avocado I need for the soup and then I'm gonna make the soup. I'm gonna do my job and make my soup. By a twist of fate, I took the wrong road and it literally curved around to shoot me in the direction of Target instead of Gelson's. That's so where we're going to Target. Hell yeah. Sometimes I feel like if I don't grab a cart, I'm not gonna go big, but I'm gonna grab a cart. This Target is crazy busy. It's like a Harry Potter release party in this. Target parking lot before we go make some soup. Mighty Patch. More Mighty Patch for those of us who have strips of acne that need covering. Um, Honest Brand Brow Gel. Honest Brand uh, Mascara. And last but not least, Pink Razor Scooter. For those of us that like to park a bit away from the airport and have to walk there all the time. I'm heartbroken. I'm I friggin' love soup and I am super excited to get this bitch going so that I can eat it. Recipe notes, black beans. On the recipe that Stacy made, she uses soybeans uh, because it's a nutritional choice. I went with black beans, call me crazy, I got scared about the soybeans. And I went with an already rotist chick so that I didn't have to worry about rotissing it. 
I really just want this soup. I want to eat the soup. I want to get the soup inside me. What I'm most jazzed about is that this recipe is only five steps and a low amount of ingredients. And I think that means that I can't mess this up. And the chicken's already cooked, so nothing to worry about. So first things first, we're going to measure olive oil into a large pot on the stove top. We're going to turn heat to medium low. And we're going to dice an onion. Bro! Are you kidding? saute five to 10 minutes until translucent, which I believe means the onions are soft. Now I'm gonna rinse my black beans. My onions are translucent, so I'm going to add the rotel. And just uh, for the record, I went with the diced tomatoes and green chilies. I tend to like a green chili. Beans, taco seasoning, cilantro, cream cheese. One, two. Oh, this little brick is eight ounces. And I'm gonna stir it until the cheese is fully melted. Then I'm gonna add a quarter cup of chopped cilantro and a quarter cup of taco seasoning. I went with McCormick because it's a classic. Hopefully this already smells so good. I kind of just want to dip chips in it and eat it like a sort of sexy cream cheese queso. Now it's telling me to add the chicken and the chicken broth. I've got my rotis chick, so I'm just going to shred that shit and then put it in. I just like to rip you out so badly. I just want to take your chicken breast. I'm just going to shred you with my fingers and I'll leave the rest. The recipe calls for two cans of chicken broth, which equals out to 32 ounces. So I just put a whole box of broth in it. Okay, honestly, I was having some like hesitative thoughts thinking like, oh, this needs garlic salt. And I just slurped it and I was like, wait, oh my God, this is really good. It doesn't need garlic salt. Am I gonna add garlic salt? Absolutely, but it doesn't need it. Like it's very comforting and tasty. Where's my mother garlic salt? Ooh, well, almost done. Good thing we have a reserve. All right, you guys, this doesn't seem real. That's it. That's literally it. So you know what that means. It's time for the Billy Dough Taste Test. The way I'm, oh, God. Did you get like water condensation in your bowls after you put them in the washing machine? <sighs> Scared me. Anyways, as I was saying, I'm gonna make his little taste test, putting a tiny bit of cheese, a little cheesy spoon, and then I'm gonna put some soup on the spoon. This operation needs help. So I wanna make sure I get a little bit of everything in there. Let's get some beans. All right, there's our Billy Dough Taste Test. More dripping. That tree is gone. Teach you to fuck with me, Stump. All right, what do we got? Soup. Oh Lord. Super, super hot, creamy taco soup. A little spicy. Yeah, no, that's really good. Really good, right? Yeah. I'd give it an eight and a half. Eight and a half? Yeah. I'd give it a nine. I don't know, we'll see. Maybe throughout the day, it'll raise. It's supposed to simmer, but I was impatient. Good job. <laughs> Can you say it like you mean it? Good soup. Thank you. Mm. Stacy, this slaps. Go check out Stacy's recipe. I love a tortilla, a taco, a whatever soup. And this one is currently up on my top shelf. I wanna marry it. I will be making this again. It was incredibly easy. Getting the pre rotis chick was a must. If you've got a lot of people to feed, like you have a family or whatever, and you're busy and you work, this is the soup you make. I wish I had gone to the store and gotten the avocado because it'd be so much, like it'd be so good with the avocado. If you need to make it heartier, I think rice would be good. It's just so good. 10 out of 10 would recommend. It's a great time. I did everything except for folding my laundry on my to-do list and I feel really good about it. So as a reward for my good behavior and on the off chance I have jury duty tomorrow, which I won't know until seven o'clock tonight, 
I'm taking my son to the Bearded Lady Mystic Museum to see the 90s horror slasher uh, walk through it a bit because we haven't been and it's been open all summer and obviously Bubs loves 90s slasher movies so let's f***ing go! Smells? The dog looks like Mr. Bubs. That is Mr. Bubs. Mr. Bubs? Oh, that's so awesome. Are you ready? Let's go. What do you think, Bobo? Do you want to find Daddy's painting? There it is. What's in the f***ing box? Oh, wow. Bobo, look. This is where Drew Barrymore got it. Hello? What's your favorite scary movie? No, not The Silence of the Lambs. It rubs the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again. In high school, my boyfriend's favorite song was this song. Really? And I didn't see it as a red flag. Mm, yeah. <laughs> well, I should have called the cops right then and there. Oh, that's not my boyfriend. I mean, I f***ed him a couple of times, but that's it. Oh, not the candy man, Bobo. Candy man. Candy man. Candy man. Candy man. I wonder if he has any candy. Give me the power, I beg of you! Careful, just chunky. Uh-oh. That doesn't work for me, that is very scary. Oh. oh, man. What are you waiting for, huh? Secretly, I love taking Mr. Bubs out to places like that because I know for sure he's going to get recognized. It's a nice ego boost for a good boy. Oh, man. What a journey. I have just landed in Burbank from my trip to Colorado to shoot the sip. And I was going to do a huge conclusion to this video when I got home in the bath because I left our bath time together last week. But I have had a day. Um, Icky hurt himself while I was out of town and Joe had to take him to the vet on an emergency. So he's all drugged up at home and needs his mommy. And I was so stressed out about that that I left my luggage at security and it is still in Denver and I am uh, in Burbank. So my wrap up uh, in public, shamelessly, is shit happens. It's not the worst thing in the world that I left my bag there. I will get it back probably within the next two weeks. Nothing important is in it that I can't replace. I'm home, thank goodness. We're going to make double stuffed barbecue chicken sweet potatoes with Ryland. Ryland joined me to cook. I was not able to teach him anything unfortunately because he wasn't a willing learner, but my God was he helpful and the proudest vlog dad. So thanks for sticking it out with me. And uh, you know, the sweet potatoes slap by the way. It is a dramatic episode, so you're in for a treat. And you know, see you next Tuesday.